and we'll see uh, some college swimmers who represent themselves very well. This Fiel is the 10 finalists for the men's 200 free final make their way. Onto the deck here at the Avery Aquatic Center at Stanford. Peter Vanderke, a familiar face. His first swim of these uh, national championships. Peter has a national championship, a short course national title in the 200 free, but we're gonna have a new champion, Michael Phelps has won the last five, five consecutive national championships in this distance in the long course. Of course, Michael not here this year. Matthew Patton from Club Wolverine swims in lane one. Lane two will be Peter Geisinger of the University of Virginia. We've got three UVA swimmers in this final field. Here's Ricky Barons. Ricky got the world championship team. And he'll swim out of lane three. Lane four is a two-time ACC Swimmer of the Year. We saw him impressive last night win the 400 free is Matthew McLean. Peter Vanderke will be in lane five. Vanderke with three gold medals in his world championship history. This is a, a young swimmer to watch. Dax Hill from the University of Texas. Made the finals in both the 100 and 200 free in the NCAAs and a two-time high school All-American. In fact, Dax Hill next week is going to be at the World University Games in China. Michael Klee, better in his second to finals so far in these nationals, was second in the 400 last night. He'll be in lane seven. Scott Robeson, who was on the World Championship team, swam the Prelim relays, another UVA, the third University of Virginia swimmer here. And this, he'll be in lane eight. Lane nine is Adam Ritter, 26 year old, Tucson Ford Dealers Aquatics. And in lane 10 will be Tyler Clary. Getting right back in there. Tyler Clary swam the 200 fly last night. Of course, he was so strong in Shanghai in the IMs. Peter Vanderkay right there in lane five. Right next to him in four is Matthew McLean. And like you said, the winner of the 400. This is, this is shaping up to be a pretty good race here. If you look across the board. How about Dax Hill, the young man in lane six, who's six foot eight and has shown to be an outstanding Peter in his college. Yeah, he, he has such easy speed. He goes out and he makes it look so easy. And he came home pretty good too. He, he didn't really fade in the prelims that badly. I, I, this guy shows a lot of promise and he's the youngest guy in this field too. Normally the 200 freestylers, you see a little bit more maturity out of him, but he's only 20 years of age. This guy, this guy can really move right there in lane number five. Excuse me, in lane six. Vander K right under, underneath him in five. Just such a veteran, knows how to swim this race so well, he just knows it like the back of his hand. He's just very comfortable swimming the 200. He's got a lot of decisions to make. 200, 400, 1500, he made all of them. Here they Vanderkay Vander and Barrett's. Ricky Barron's right there, Dax Hill in third. Well, Ricky Barron's, Peter Vanderkay just won two gold, uh, just won a gold medal at the World Championships in Shanghai. Swam with Lochte and Phelps in the finals of that 800 free relay. But look at Locke, I mean, Vander K just really moving out that third 50. He had a spectacular third 50 to really dominate now. now Matt McLean moved up in the second. Barron's is third. Now Peter Vander K trying to succeed Michael Phelps and take a national championship. Vander Kay has got over a body length lead coming in. McLean making the last push, but too little, too late. And it's Peter Vander Kay to win the national championship. 45. 146-45, and that is also a top 10 time. That's eighth in the world this year. McLean took second, and Ricky Barron's third. You're so right, Ted. You, you, today, you have to break 147 to even have a chance to break the top 10 or 15 in the world. And off the blocks, Peter Vanderkay in lane number five, Matthew McLean right underneath him in four. 
Both of them off the blocks very well, but that third 50, he just took off just right here. You can see, you see him just slowly but surely building that third 50. He was dead even at the 100, and look at this. All of a sudden, it went from a half body length, and now with just a couple meters from the wall, he full body length, and he kept that the whole way, that last 50. McLean kind of came up on the end, had to swim a great time, 47 plus, but this was all about Peter Vanderkay and that veteran experience that he has in this event. He's been around for a long, long time. And Peter Vanderkay winning this, and we mentioned that's a top 10 time in the world this year. Matthew McLean swam a personal best by about half second. To get second, Ricky Behrens ends up taking third. And so Peter Vanderkay has a new national championship to claim. Congratulations, Peter. Thank you. Good. Peter, Where, go ahead. Uh, I, you know, Peter, I, I just was so impressed with your third 50. What, did you decide to do that before the race and say, I'm going to take off this third 50? That wasn't much, as much as the third 50 as the back half. I just wanted to come home strong and, you know, hitting the third 50 is part of that. <laughs> How does it mean you, Peter, we've asked a lot of the swimmers, you had to turn around from Shanghai, the long trip. I mean, where do you get in the reserve from right now? <laughs> you got to dig deep. Uh, the jet lag has uh, affected a lot of us, but, you know, he's still had to come here and race and, and swim fast. Well, Peter, I know you, you, tell us a little bit about that experience in the 800 freestyle relay. I know you were part of that evening gold medal performance. What was that like? Oh, that was really exciting. Uh, the French gave us a, a good run, but we were able to pull it off. Ryan had a great anchor leg, and we broke away. Well, congratulations on tonight. Super job. Thank you. All right, Peter Vanderkay, the national champion and the men's 200 free. All right, we'll come back. The men's 100 back is coming up, and we'll get our look at Ryan Lochte.